This is Merv Griffin inviting you to join me in Washington, D.C. for an exclusive interview with the 40th President of the United States, Ronald Reagan. Now we take you to the West Sitting Room in the residential quarters of the White House, where I'm joined by President Ronald Reagan. First of all, Mr. President, let me uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to come here today with my cameras and disrupt, I'm sure, what has been an eventful day for you. After the uh, assassination attempt on your life, uh, Mr. President, did your personal priorities change? Well, no, I can't really say. I, I think I had them pretty well in line. But Merv, if I, I had to feel after and as I learned later how close uh, it was, I had to realize that any time I've got left, uh, I owe to him. Mr. President, uh, at the beginning of your term in office, we heard a lot about Reaganomics. I rarely see that uh, phrase anymore. Yeah, that's because it's working. We never call it Reaganomics. I never <laughs> used the word. Our critics and opponents who thought it was the wrong plan, they called it Reaganomics, and they called it that because they were insisting that it wasn't going to work. But now it's working, and we have recovery coming, and. I've noticed that no one calls it that anymore. Do you call it Reaganomics now? Only when I point out that no one calls it Reaganomics. <laughs> <laughs> Is the economy moving the way you anticipated? You're pleased with uh, how it's doing? Yes, very much so. I would like to see, and I think we can see uh, shortly, interest rates come lower than they are. They've still stayed too high, but they're still only half of what they were when we started. They are the key to everything in the economy, aren't they? To get they're back they're to what work. really accelerated the recession. Yeah. There was a recession when we came here. I campaigned in towns in the Midwest, industrial towns, during 1980, when unemployment in those towns was as much as 20 percent. But what had happened was that the and the interest rates were 21 and a half. Inflation was uh, running around 12 and a half percent, and had been for two years. But when the interest rates stopped the automobile market, people couldn't afford the interest to buy cars on time and to stop the housing industry. Either one of those industries can by themselves create a recession. And the housing industry stopped. That meant the associated industries began to dwindle, furniture, appliances, uh, the lumbering industry and so forth. And uh, I think that the stimulant of the economy that has now seen, well, last month, new housing starts we're at an annual rate of almost two million. Um, the automobiles, right now, uh, they're having trouble keeping up with the demand. I have to remark that we aren't, when I say all these good things that are happening, I don't want that fellow out there that's waiting for a job, that's unemployed, to think that we've forgotten about him. That's the end result that the we're working result. for. Right. Right. How, Mr. President, do you want the Reagan presidency to be remembered? Have you thought about that? No, I really haven't. Once in a while, someone asks that question. You're so, it's I've so heard much. you called a crisis president. I, there wouldn't be any reason to be here if I didn't try to do the things that I actually believe will, will resolve this. You know, for years and years, long before I ever thought I'd even be governor of California, in fact, never wanted to be in public life, but I was out of the mashed potato circuit. Uh, I've, always, I've always said that in Hollywood, if you don't sing or dance, you wind up as an after-dinner speaker. So uh, that was what I was doing, and I always prepared my own speeches, talked on the subjects I wanted to talk on, and I talked a great deal about the things that I thought uh, were being done, that government was doing wrong in, uh, in our economy and imposing more and more on people. I thought before I came here that over the years, government had built up a kind of an adversary relationship with business, with its own business community, instead of thinking in terms of partnership and keeping the economy going the way it should. But as to thinking about a place in history, it, it seems as if every day it's 
you're just too busy with the things that are going on to sit back and look way down and say, I wonder how I'll be remembered. Right. Uh, if I had to think of it, I, I hope they won't think too harshly and that they'll just, uh, well, I hope they'll assume I did my best. Right.